It's the sort of thing you don't want creeping up beyond you in the middle of the night. Easy job in a nice stable sail loft on a flat floor. It's a little complicated on the boat that's rocking and rolling. Well done. All we need now is some wind. That's Cape Finisterre, or Finiterre Terra, the end of land, the furthest point west in Spain, and therefore the furthest point west on mainland Europe. Today's uh, day eight of Golden Globe, uh, so that makes it Monday, which is time for the weekly uh, safety call so we might try and record that in just a bit in the meantime uh, I've picked up a uh, a passenger on board who's uh, trying to hide away from what the remnants of uh, tropical anti-cyclone uh, Daniela well everything's okay on board except I have to uh, I have to announce that I have um, I have a stowaway, so I may be disqualified. If the weather had been kind, we'd already be uh, off Lanzarote for the first uh, film drop. But it's been anything but kind. We've had contrary winds and strong winds at that, solidly now since the start. But yesterday it turned, we got through the, uh, the centre of the low and we're able to head downwind direct for the Canaries or at least as close as we can tell at this stage uh, direct to the Canaries. This is coming in towards Lanzarote for the first film drop of GGR 2022. Northwest one two meter swell. Tenerife, go Americoastal water. Tenerife, west coast around Punta de Ela Gata, northeast four or five slight. At northeast coast, around right class standing by sixty nine. Yeah, GG I can try sixty nine. Good. Had a, a few days of uh, nice weather, some sunshine, time to dry things out, get a bit sorted on the boat. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, all good. And I had some good okay. co company with Tapio for the last couple of days, which was yeah, really you nice. Know you're winning. You know your first boat. Uh, so it's rumoured. Yeah, Tapio was in Absolutely. touch with somebody, which is fantastic. Yeah. You look a bit tired. Is that because you are steering all the time because you wanted to be here for Tapio? You're keeping me awake. It's uh, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Normally I'd be asleep by now. No, the last couple of days have been fairly full on. Uh, well, the, two, two nights ago, there was, uh, the, the wind was picking up and there's, there's a big sea out there in places, very big, uh, confused sea. And the uh, hydrovane self-steering isn't able to hold it all the time. So I put a spinnaker up a couple of nights ago 
to uh, to try and uh, gain a little bit of extra advantage. Yeah, so the hydrogen wasn't coping with it, but uh, so that was a tiring night with no sleep at all. But last night I got some sleep, uh, and I think it was actually the reverse. Tapio was with the spinnaker up, and I sent him a message saying uh, it's it's getting a bit getting a bit windy. You might want to think of taking it down, but I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to him since. He was on the radio just now, uh, but I couldn't uh, I couldn't hear it. So I'll talk to him later. Well, I think uh, no, I wasn't into the race in Les Sables because Les Sables was Les Sables. It was, uh, it was uh, a great time. A great celebration but we couldn't get into the race until we left and got going and certainly that first week in Biscay was was enough to get us going in uh, in the race and realize it was serious but I think uh, heading down towards the Cape Verdes uh, it looks promising for the moment uh, so the next stretch and up until the doldrums uh, that should be some of the nice sailing I'm looking forward to some flat sailing and finishing a few jobs and and getting things sorted before we get down south just this last uh, last bit, I was sailing with the two big Genoas, my uh, light Genoa and my heavy Genoa. We both pulled out and going like a train. Uh, no work, and, and that was much easier through the waves. Yeah. And so so that could be quite useful in the Southern Ocean, I think. So is there anything like, that you would have changed on the boat now? Like you're happy with the preparation? <laughs> I, I'd have plugged a few more leaks that I thought I'd plugged. And I haven't, so I've got that to do. That's those are the jobs I'm referring to. Yeah. So you're not missing anything then? Uh, no, so far, no, I'm not missing anything except for friends and family and relations. <laughs> no, I haven't found anything I've, I've I've left behind yet. Okay. Other than that, yeah, everything's everything's good. Um, happy with the boat. Boat's looking after me. Yeah. I'm looking after the boat mostly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not a very complicated routine. It's just <laughs> eat, sleep, sail, repeat. Okay, we're out of here.